Yeah, it was an amazing experience to be honest. Uh, really good club, really good area. Um, just good to play some continuous cricket. I feel like I haven't really had that much over the last few years. So yeah, good to get a bit of cricket under the belt and feel very prepared and ready to go for the season ahead. So I played for a club called Weybridge who are in the Surrey League. Um, so yeah, pretty close to London. So uh, close to where everything's happening, which was good. And uh, yeah, the league was a really good standard. Um, they, they reckon it's the best league in England. I don't know if they're biased or not, but uh, yeah, it was really good and just such a good bunch of people. So yeah, I think it's a bit more fun being in the UK and being able to travel around Europe than it is flogging yourself in the gym in pre-season. So it was a, a good little win that. I've been over before, but not for like a full cricket season. So I'd only been on sort of tours there. So the tours are often quite condensed and you're sort of traveling and um, yeah, it's hard to do much other than train, play and travel. But uh, my girlfriend was over for the length of the trip. So she made sure we kept busy in terms of uh, seeing a fair bit of Europe. And then, yeah, I'm a big soccer fan. So I went to a lot of, uh, a lot of different soccer games, which was good. So yeah, usually I only get to experience that on TV from back here. So it was good to be, good to be over there. I uh, got to the Ashes for a little bit as well uh, at the Oval. So yeah, bit of cricket, bit of soccer, bit of travel. So it was a, it was a good combination. Yeah, it was a great series. It was um, hard being in a very English-centric club and um, having to be the only one standing up for the Australians. But uh, yeah, it's sort of, uh, yeah, it was a great series, but kept me pretty fired up the whole time with a few of the incidents and how close it all was, just to make sure I sort of had one up on all the boys at Weybridge, so it was good. <music> to be honest, my main objective is just to play 10 Shield games this year and hopefully 11 if we make the final. But um, yeah, it's been obviously a, a long time coming to get that consistency under my belt. And I've sort of been playing more at a club level for sort of nine months straight now. So it's just about continuing with that. And I feel like I'm in really good rhythm and, and ready to do that. So um, yeah, hopefully stay sort of injury free and um, obviously do well for Victoria would be the best thing possible and yeah, hopefully win a shield this year and then yeah, whatever happens from there happens. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, probably haven't played as much for Melbourne as I would have liked over the last few years. So um, we've got an amazing coach down there in Benny Vague who makes it a very enjoyable place to play your cricket. So. Um, and then a great bunch of guys as well. So it's good to sort of go on at least the back end of the season journey with them. And um, obviously that finishing up in a flag, it doesn't get much better than that. So yeah, that was awesome fun. And hopefully in between some Shield games, I can get down and play a few games for the Ds again this year. Yeah, I don't think I could ever leave it, to be honest. It's, uh, I've had a kahuna, I think me and Locke are working it out since I reckon I was about eight or nine, and I've had it, what am I now, 25. I had a bubble for a bit, but ended up getting that re-stickered pretty quickly because it just didn't feel right. But my my hero growing up was Ricky Ponting, so it was always that sort of kahuna connection, and then um, tried to pretend I thought I could bat like him, so I always wanted to use the kahuna. And then, yeah, I've just used it ever since, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have the uh, the firepower to use a beast or anything like that, so yeah, I think kahuna might, might be sticking around for his for as long as it can. Yeah, I definitely do. I think um, every time the retro stick has come out, I always beg Locke to let me use them, but he never seems to. So now that this is out there in the world, Locke, freaking get me some Kahuna retro stickers. Uh, yeah, I have, for some reason, I think there's just always something about retro that's special because it sort of brings up those childhood memories. So. Yeah, I'm trying to think which one my favourite one was. I reckon it was like maybe the Ashes series, the 06, 07 Ashes series, where I think Ricky got nearly 200 in the first test. And I remember, I reckon that's probably my favourite Kahuna that he's ever used. Um, I've got sort of an image of it in my head at the moment. But yeah, if you want to bring those retro ones back, I certainly won't be complaining. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I reckon I was either Beast or Kahuna the whole way. Like I thought the Beast one that, was there a Beast one a couple of years ago that came out? Yeah. I was a massive fan of that. Um, if we can get the uh, 
black backs without the uh, carbon fiber, that'd be pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's legal anymore. Cause yeah. I thought they were bloody cool. I feel like yeah, if you can sneak one of them through the back door, and yeah, what, what was the thing on it? Graphite or something. Graphite. Yeah, so we'll just have to find a different thing to have on the back of it. But yeah, I thought that was the best one.